I feel like this new CSS feature has slipped in under the radar and it's the ability to create custom easing. I'm going to show you how to do it to build this bouncy MRR counter. Um, as you see, it's got this elastic easing as you change the value. If we slow this down, you can see that the values sort of bounce elastically. But how do you do that with just CSS? Well, if you had a ball and a classic animation is you want to drop the ball and have it bounce, how would you do that? Well, in our CSS, and let's start now HTML first actually, um, we have a ball and some floor and the ball is an SVG. And in our styles, we just have a foundation and we set the ball size, give it a background, set the floor, and then for the floor shadow, we're just going to use a pseudo element on the floor and that will scale up and like reveal itself with opacity. And we're going to have these two animations that run at the same time using the same ease. Now, how might you try and do this? So currently, or previously, you might have done something like this. Start with a translation of the ball, like from a height, and then, you know, 10% in, it's on the floor, but then at 15%, it needs to come up again, and then it needs to go down again, and then up and down, and you've got to try and work out those distances so it kind of looks natural. And off the top of your head, without searching around on like Stack Overflow or something, you might come up with something like this. And same for the floor, like the shadow is going to reveal itself, opacity and scale are zero, they're going to become one, and then we got to try and work out these like in between steps. Um, the reason it stops at 50 and 100 is so you got like a repeat delay in there. But if we were to run this, uh, we save that and hop back. Like that is how it looks. And to be honest, like it looks terrible. So the new linear function gets around this. Like it makes it so you can use a keyframe that kind of makes sense. Like it looks more um, understandable, but the easing is the part that does the magic. So if we go back and we uncomment this layer, which has linear easing, our keyframes will come back to this ease part. Our keyframes are much more simple. The drop is take it from a height, drop it to the floor, 50% to 100, that repeat delay comes in. So it will wait for a second and then it will start again, wait for a second. And same with the floor, it will do the show and it will do it to 50% and 100 and then it will just wait. That keyframe is much easier to understand. But the tricky part or the trick here is to use this new linear function. And this looks like a lot of magic numbers. And to be honest, it kind of is like you're not going to change these once you've found like a good value set or like a good set of these you'll probably reuse them so here we're setting this bounce which is a linear function with these magic numbers which are like plotted between zero and one and they produce this nice like easing line that then gets used by the function and we're setting it here but if we save this i mean you just see the result that's the result like that is nice it's a nice bounce it's kind of what we expect it looks natural but how do we get those magic numbers well that's a bit of a journey to go on but um jake archibald who worked on this spec did a made a tool for it and this kind of visualizes what's going on so like here it's kind of this graph right and these are the um these are the magic numbers to produce this custom easing and to me like that's that's fine but it's tricky like i want to take eases that i'm familiar with and turn them into css so i can reuse them and typically when i'm doing something with easing i might use something like greensock and greensock has a great easing visualizer so i can go in here and be like cool elastic out um one zero point three like that's that's great if i change this and maybe i want like Ah, there's bounce. What does bounce look like? Let's get that graph in. Cool. Bounce looks great. How could I take that value 
and turn it into those CSS values. Well, I went on a bit of a journey and I did that um, and wrote an article about it. And there's essentially there's a, a method inside Greensock that allows you to get that string back out. And I took it and turned it into a demo. So in here, yeah, you can do like, take the ease, work out the syntax, post it back in. You don't need to worry too much about that bit because I put it into this demo. So if you can take a green silk ease and then you can plug it in here. So let's do like power one dot in out generate and then just copy that out and put it where you need it. And then I took all the, the common ones from green sock and put them into this uh, GitHub gist, which I'll put below. But this is great. Like whenever I need one, I just copy them out of here drop them in my project and then use them. So for example, I'm using them on Brick Yourself, right? When the, the counter comes in, it bounces in the number of generations people have done, which is kind of cool. So back to our original demo, which you might be wondering how that's built, this MRR counter. Well, this is a little trick and it was mainly to show off this ease, but we'll explode it up so you can see it. The trick here is each number is a track with a load of numbers on it, 0, 1 through uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9, with a repeat on each end. And then the trick is that when we set the value in JavaScript, we just translate the number track up and down. Um, and handily, I've put in this demo an exploder so you can see it. So that will fade out, and there you go. You can see all the little number tracks. And when we change the value, it's a translation of those tracks. And it's kind of cool, but we use the little bounce. So we've got elastic set, but if we were to set a different one, say like bounce and ran that, you see it like bounces. And the trick here, if we unexplode, it'll take a second to go down. Um, the trick here to make it like still so you can access it is to duplicate it. So if we pump this up, it's the wrong way. I have a, a screen reader only element with the actual value inside of it. And then this track is all area hidden away and purely used for the animation. And then the other side of this is what's happening behind the scenes to generate this. Um, the formatting is um, the number formatting tools through JavaScript, which I'll leave a link for below. But yeah, that's how you can create custom easing with CSS today and it's supported in all the browsers so yeah I feel like this one slipped under the radar and it's pretty sweet so check it out peace